Hey you guys, so I wanted to hop on here really quick today and I know I've been gone for a minute but just bear with me you guys, I got a lot going on, a lot. So anyway, I wanted to hop on real quick because I wanted to do this vegan egg with you guys. So I don't know if, um, to all my vegans out there, maybe even if you're not vegan, you probably heard of this, you know that the Just Mayo brand, um, they have a lot of like uh, salad dressings and stuff like that, that is dairy free, um, egg free, things of that nature. Um, so I wanted, I, I had seen um, a YouTube that I watch all the time. I'm always copying something from her channel when she's cooking something really good. Um, her name is Eden Jacks, and I did the fried chicken and I'm absolutely in love with it. And now I'm doing the vegan egg that I had seen her try on the channel. I finally found it in my area where I live. So I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to do that with you guys today. So you guys just hang on real tight and we're gonna get this show started. Okay, you guys, so this is the egg. Um, it's just it's made by the Just brand. Um, I absolutely love their stuff. I get all of their, um, like my mayonnaise. That's the only mayonnaise I kind of use, the vegan mayonnaise, unless I go to like Trader Joe's and get their brand or something. But this Just brand, they are doing it up, and they're about to be really big, okay? And they're about to make tons of money because there's so many companies out here that's not trying to accommodate the vegans. And I think it sucks because they are going to lose out on so much money. So this is the egg I'm gonna be trying this and you see it says made from plants not chickens and then this is just some um um some sauteed onions and peppers that I had um browned up with some olive oil and then obviously you know I'm gonna be using my uh vegan margarine to do this and um yeah that's pretty much it add some margarine I'm gonna add some margarine to the pan I hope it's not cooking too fast because I did turn it down. All right, I'm going to hold this camera because honestly, um, it's just not working out for me. Okay. So we just we got the margarine. So let me, I'm just turn it down a little bit because I don't want it to burn. So here is the egg and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in. Okay. So let's see how that works. It looks like a and I'm gonna pour in the sauteed veggies. Okay. It doesn't smell like an egg. It kind of smells like a pancake mix, actually. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, let's see what happens, you guys. I'm excited try to do this with a spoon. Let's see. Ooh, I'm going to splash that everywhere. Alright, let's see. It's kind of cooking. Um, I don't know. But it does, it's starting to come together like an egg. Let's see what happens. It definitely doesn't smell eggy. It honestly, I promise you, it smells like pancake batter or something. I knew I should have put more margarine. Like I just something to oh, I should have probably done it in olive oil. All right, you guys. So the camera died. Well, I'm sorry, the camera didn't die. Um, my SD card died. <laughs> it was too full for me to record anything else and what I did was I ran and hurry up and uh, and switched out the SD card for the other one that I had and that one was full too I never downloaded the, the videos and pictures off of that one either onto my computer since coming back from my New York trip so both cards were pretty full and I could not get that last footage for you guys of the egg. But what I'm going to do is, the only thing I do you guys at this point is just show a picture. But I must say that the egg was, del it was delicious. I mean, it really tasted like egg. And it really scrambled up nice and fluffy, fluffy like an egg 
does too. I have a pitcher. Um, it's only a small amount though. For some reason, I poured a lot in the pan, but I guess once it cooks down, it doesn't amount to much. So next time I'll know to pour maybe almost a whole jar. If I want like a decent size amount of eggs, I would probably have to use the entire jar, which I'm okay with. I, that was my first time making it, so I really didn't know, um, you know, how much I needed to use. But either way, it was really tasty. Um, I'm definitely going to buy it again. Um, it was really, really good. And the next time I buy it, you guys, I'll try to do another video for you guys. But um, I'm so sorry. I, I, I just, I couldn't get the, the last end of the video. And, and I know that I mentioned that it smelled like maybe pancake batter or something. But it definitely didn't taste like it. It was nothing sweet about it. I put my little bit of salt and pepper off camera. Um, I finished letting it uh, cook up. Scrambled up nice and hard and um again like i said you guys are just gonna have to see the picture for the end i'm so sorry you guys i'm so sorry i love you guys and thank you so so much for watching